Have you ever heard that joke? The guy walks in the doctor's office and says, Doc, my whole body's aching. I touched my hip, I'm sore. I touched my forehead, I'm sore, it's sore. I touched my arm, it's sore. I touched my shoulder, it's sore. I touched my mouth, it's sore. And the doctor says, you know something? You have a broken finger. And you know, isn't that kind of funny? It is kind of funny, right? And that's what this video is about. This video is about if we took one single thing in our life that is causing us problems. It may be loneliness, it may be depression, anxiety. For me, it was anger and hurt. It may be, it may be greed, whatever it is, maybe laziness, it, you know, self-esteem, whatever it may be. If we take one of those issues that are blaring, one of those character defects that are blaring, you may be surprised how simple your life will improve in all areas. When I came into early recovery, I had a huge problem with anger. Like, I mean, I was acting out, you know, at the guy cutting the grass. I was acting out at my girlfriend, my family. I had these big resentments, I had these big problems in me, within me, right? So when I looked at my life, I thought my whole life was in chaos and disarray. I thought there was tons of things I needed to work out in my life. There was, you know, there was nothing good about me. I was defective and my whole life was in chaos and it was problematic all the time. But a friend of mine in a recovery meeting came up to me and said, Terry, take your most blaring problem in your life with yourself. What behavior is causing you the most difficulty? What thoughts are causing you the most difficulty? I told him hurt, resentments, and anger. He said, Terry, work on the anger. Work on your anger. Just do that. Find out why you're jumping, you're flaring up so quickly, you're going off the rails, you're taking everything so sensitive. Just find out what that's caught. Why is that happening to you? What happened to you to make you behave like that? You know, because when we're born, we, we come up here. We really do. A lot of these behaviors and the way we feel sometimes, you know, for myself anyways, it's become traumatic childhood, you know, bad upbringing from parents. I don't like to say it like that. I love my parents, but they weren't that great then drugs and alcohol abuse and everything that goes along with that. So when I sobered up, it seemed like my life was all a mess. But you know something? Once I took that simple advice and applied that simple thing to my life, it was surprising the effect that it had on my life in a positive way. It really was. When I start to understand my anger and start behaving differently towards anger, you know, getting a handle on it, how to respond to it when I wanted to, how to feel it, how to put words to my anger, how to put words to my pain. It was surprising how my relationships cleared up at work, with my wife, girlfriend at the time, with my brothers, with my sisters, with my father, with my mother. All those significant relationships cleared up with my friends, etc. And I felt better about myself. I went to a counselor, I worked a 12-step program and I took the most blaring problem in my life and I worked on it. And it doesn't matter what your problem is in your sobriety. It, th it doesn't matter. If you take the one that's causing you the most difficulty, you may be surprised, pleasantly surprised, of the impact in a positive way it'll have on your life. Because a lot of these behaviors and way I cope with life are learned behaviors and are behaviors that can be unlearned or we can learn better techniques how to deal with them. And because of that, I deal with anger and resentment and hurt and frustration and annoyance and all that kind of stuff better now. My life overall has really gotten great. It really has. It's not perfect. And I always kind of keep an eye on anger and I always got to keep, you know, tabs on my sobriety and all that. You know, I'm never sort out of the woods, but I'm going to tell you something for the simplest idea or the simplest target of behavior that I worked on, my life has changed dramatically. We complicate things like crazy in sobriety. We make anthills into mountains. But if we simplify things right down to the core, we just simplify it, get totally honest with ourselves, you may be surprised that you are a great person. You're a wonderful person. It's just these behaviors these fears, these hurts, these angers, these jealousies, whatever it may be, 
are covering up all the great stuff in your life. And when we get those under control, you may be, you know, you'll wonder, where the hell have I been all my life? And that's the way it went for me. It really did. In sobriety, I was building things up to greatness, and then my anger would tear them all down. You know, I'd burn the village down sort of thing. And now I've learned, hey, whoa, whoa. It's all right to be angry. It's all right to feel hurt. It's all right to have resentments. But Terry, do yourself a favor. Stop causing damage to yourself and the people around you that you love. Just stop it. Deal with it, talk about it. This too will pass. All those kind of things. Get to a meeting, talk to your sponsor, pray to God if you have a, a God in your life, spirituality, go to the gym, whatever it may take, but do not react. This too will pass and learn from it. Get to a therapist, get active in your program, talk to your mentor or your sponsor if you're in a 12 step program and learn about yourself and you will be surprised how your life will change. Oh, and another thing, you'll be surprised of the people that are attracted to you that never were before. Because you know something? You're a great person. You're a pretty good, damn good person. You really are. You just gotta find it underneath there, okay? My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol-free life channel. We're willing to live sober one day at a time. If you could take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel? Take another second and hit that like button. But you know something? I'll see you all tomorrow. Remember, not tomorrow, next week. Remember that sobriety is freedom. It really is. It gives us freedom and the ability to live a great life. It really does. I know it did it for me. I know it did it for me and it will do it for you, okay? Ciao for now.